party. Let's get this last shot, please, and break for lunch. Does that skill make her butt look big? Welcome back to you, though, Jack. I am Cookie Masterson, and I am just 60 credit hours short of earning a master's degree. What? Not to show how that works, but okay. Playing by yourself? Well, at least you won't come in second. No, not at all. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Luxury tinfoil hats. When you are paranoid about aliens and keeping up with the latest fashion, luxury tinfoil hats. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. Okay, let's hope I don't get foiled. All right, here we go. I'll see if we can tell. Yeah, I'm alone. At least for this episode. Let's begin with... This shower is golden. On the occasions that I bathe, I only use zest soap. It's literally the only soap that gets me zestfully clean. Oh. If the way zest soap got you zestfully clean, or the process cooks use to collect zest, what would it do? Crush you, burn you, gut your inside? The zest of a citrus fruit is the fruit's rind, and it's collected by cutting, scraping, or grating the peel. Yeah, I remember this one. Yeah, I think I'll just stick to my usual method of bathing, running naked through the local car wash. Huh? Not even allowed. Let us alone is that even safe. How about, go to the lights? If Miller Lights had the same properties as lights, what might be its slogan? Taste like a wave, never a particle. Taste like a particle, never a wave. Taste like a particle, goes down smooth like a wave. Or taste great, no particles or waves. Right, light, hang on, let me think about it. Light particles, light waves. Hello? I can't remember. Check, please. No, is it part of Here's what a right answer looks like. Yeah. Lights has a dual nature. It contains yeah. properties of both particles and waves. Been a while since I studied that, so that's why I forgot. Between light and beer is all explained in Einstein's drunken paper. What the f are you looking at? I mean, as a university is a technician, and everyone else is a light worker. Here's one I like to call Old Saint Jeselnik. So, comedian Anthony Jeselnik has a show on Comedy Central that's just about being offensive. It's even called the Jeselnik Offensive. Speaking of which, if Anthony Jeselnik made a joke about an offensive fencing move, what might be the setup? You ever see a priest pay himself? My girlfriend says I saber too much. I saw a blind kid flesh the other day. Or, I showed an old lady my foil. Okay, I think that should be saber, but hang on a second. I won't get foiled this time. Here's what you meant to pick. A saber, epee, and foil are all types of swords and fencing. A flesh is an offensive attack. Oh, wait. Okay. If you ask me, fencing masks are pretty offensive to flies. Come on, their eyes aren't that ugly. Ah, ha, ha. You've been foiled. <laughs> or do I? Did I? And now, so will your skull. You just won. Uh-oh. A tinfoil fedora from Yo. luxury tinfoil hats. Don't be paranoid about looking fantastic. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer. The game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Did I use that as a solar panel? <laughs> Probably not. Probably will burn my head, actually, by the time I get enough energy. Next up, men are from Mars, M&Ms are also from Mars. And it's a dis or dat. Uh, what? Chocolate? I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's... A spacecraft sent to Mars by NASA, or... A candy owned by Ooh. Mars Incorporated. If it was sent to Mars... Press the left arrow. If it's owned by Mars, press the right arrow. <laughs> okay, I like we're that. off. Eclipse. Milky Way. Orbit. What? Mars Express. Galaxy. What? Tracker. Curiosity. Jeez. Yuck. Something tasted weird in the middle of that. There were way too many chocolates that I did not know Mars actually owned. A lot of candy is named after parts of outer space because that's where nougat comes from. Little known fact. Really? Fire finger. You know, only two raw, um, 
Take robot that were in that at list. No rhyme or reason. What do author John Updike and Eminem have in common? Both are using pseudonyms, both have won Pulitzers, both are famous for a character named Rabbit, or both collaborated with Dr. Dre. Um, I know it's not the right one. <laughs> no, John Updike's a real name? Don't tell me Dr. Dre. Dre. Dancer, show yourself. Author John Updike is known for his series of rabbit books, which follows the life of a small-town Pennsylvania man. And Eminem portrayed a rapper called B-Rabbit in his movie 8 Mile. Oh, wait, what? I wonder what it would sound like if an actual rabbit tried to rap. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, first off, that sounded cool. Secondly, I did wrap up mile, round one. But honest to God, I did not so realize ugly. Eminem was Remember, portraying I'm someone else in that movie. In round I thought he was portraying himself. Okay then, here we go. My mistake was not watching the movie at full. Uh, wow. Six is really not having fun. I call this one Et Toy Brute. Which of these classic toys best embodies the phrase E Pluribus Unum? Operation, skip it, Voltron, or Tickle Me Elmo? El Pluribus Unum. Hmm, Pluribus, Pluribus, Pluribus. My first thought, Pluribus, maybe thinking of. Oh, actually, it doesn't really fit now, man. No, I'll just skip it. You should have skipped it. <laughs> the correct answer is. E Pluribus Unum translates to out of many, one. And Voltron was originally formed when five mechanical lions assembled to make one big robot. Oh. I always felt bad for the lion that had to be the crotch. You know Voltron's enemies are going right for the crotch every time. Um, Open wide for family splatters. I'll just gonna leave that alone. Oh no. Alright, what well, would I have this time? And there's some extra allowance money for a right answer. Arrange these families oh. in order of fewest to most children. Brady family, Von Tropp family, Duggar family. Oh, Duggar, geez, Brady, that's Von Tropp, Von Tropp, Von Tropp, Brady, Duggar, Brady, Von Tropp, Duggar, or Von Tropp, Duggar, Brady. This is a complete guess. With one person only I can refer to, that's Brady. How do you say, uh, no? Nah, this is the other oh, one. Honestly. There are okay. six children in the Brady family, seven in the Von Tropp family, and currently 19, yes, 19 children in the Duggar family. Wow. Hey, imagine all those kids in a daddy day camp led by, say, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think you'd have a really funny movie there. Think about it, Hollywood. <laughs> Before Hollywood actually has done that already, and I'm not even aware. Next. You ain't nothing but a hound god. What? If Elvis Presley had constructed Graceland in the original city of Memphis, what room might he have built instead of the jungle room? The Sahara Desert Room, the Australian Outback Room, the Amazon Rainforest Room, or the Scottish Highland? Memphis is yeah. the ancient capital of Egypt located in the eastern Sahara Desert. Guess where I get that from? Luxor. Everybody in ancient Memphis used to go on and on about how their barbecue was the best. <laughs> I mean, that'd be the other Memphis. Take a good look okay. at the anatomically correct X-Men. What? Okay, listen up. X-Men's Wolverine has three adamantium claws on each hand. So, tell me this. How many extra adamantium claws would X-Men's Wolverine have to grow on each hand to match the amount of claws on an actual Wolverine's paw? One extra on each hand, two extra on each hand, three extra on each hand, or no extra, he has the right amount. No clue. Wolverine paw, I'm not too sure how many he has. No way, bub. Nope. Is it two extra Wanna on each hand? Wanna see the answer? Wolverine mm. has three adamantium claws on each hand, but an actual Wolverine has five, so he'd have to grow two extra per hand. Or he could just change his name to the three-toed slob, whichever is easier. <laughs> I mean, it did say the anatomically correct X-Men, so I appreciate that joke. May I introduce stringing you along? 
Having a relationship with which of these characters would not come with no strings attached? Lamb Chop, Triumph, the Insult Comic Dog, Howdy Doody, or Alf? If I had to guess, Wally's the puppet. The only problem is I don't know which is the puppet. Howdy Doody is a marionette, meaning he's controlled by strings. The others are all puppets. So, dating Howdy Doody would come with strings attached. Oh! Howdy Doody also comes in a lot of baggage. Also, I actually meant to say like Bench Willis is puppet, but I guess the words came out wrong there. Oh well, it's time for the attack attack. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, but if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. It's ladies' night. And what's the lady's name? What? What's the lady's name? Uh-oh. Okay, I can see where this is going. And I know who sang it because I literally was listening to that in a short recently. Lady Gaga. Although I feel so not many people will forget that moment. Naked horseback rider. No. Well, we know it's not that anymore. I kind of figured it sounds as though it's like something goddess. That's why. LBJ's wife. He tells me that's wrong. Then again, I'm even not sure, honestly. No. No. Somebody tells me that lady. No. Somebody tells me that lady fingers might just be uh, the uh, food item. Let us see you later. D H Lawrence character. I have no clue. Lady in the water. No. Senseless direwolf. What? Nope. There it was. Cinderella's wicked stepmother. I wish I remembered. I haven't seen that one in so long. Nope. I know it's not that, I think. I know it's not Lady in Red, 100% not. It's not Lady X either. Ah, I missed it. Oh well. My best wife. I suppose I missed it already. Well, I know it's not leaving my bath. At least I don't think so. No. Wow, really? I'm missing all these. Marlon Rouge song. I have zero clue what that is. I know it's not Lady Shiva. I know it's not Lady Chateau No? Oh, duh! Forgot that Lady Marvelly was a song. I honestly did forget that. That's all she wrote! Well, it's not that bad in the red. Sometimes I get the feeling that people these days like to use the term lady ironically. I mean, is there anything especially ladylike about Lady Gaga parading around in neat dresses with her lower ankles exposed for all the world to see? How uncouth! My word, Cookie. The crazy thing though is that as of recently, Eminem's new album just came up. I guess you could say Eminem ain't the only one who's dissing. See you guys next episode.